Welcome back. Today we're talking about VTEC. VTEC stands for Verocytotoxin Producing E. coli. It's a little bug, but can cause big problems. It causes bloody diarrhea, particularly in children, and it can cause kidney failure. So it's really important that we understand how it is that we can prevent the spread of VTEC. So let's get into it. My name is Greg Martin. If you're watching this video, you are probably in one of three groups, right? You might be a public health professional, right? And you need to know how to control outbreaks of VTEC or E. coli in children's settings or childcare settings. Good, keep watching. You might be a parent and you've either been told that your child has VTEC or E. coli, right? Or that your child is in a childcare setting where there's an outbreak of E. coli and you want to know more about it. So thank you for watching and I hope you find this informative. And finally, you might be somebody that works in a childcare setting. Keep watching. We're going to go through the basics. At the end of this, you're going to know a lot more about VTEC. So thank you for watching. Let's go. Let's just quickly talk about the basics. E. coli can cause a gastrointestinal system infection. Uh, it can cause bloody diarrhea, particularly VTEC or the verocytotoxin producing E. coli. If your child is unwell, seek medical attention, see your GP, get help, get advice. This video isn't about what you should do if your child is sick. All right, just to let you know. We're really going to be talking about how to prevent the spread of VTEC. And really, there are three ways in which a person can get VTEC, right? It's contaminated water, contaminated food and contact with fecal matter from a person that is infected. So the reason why children are at increased risk of catching VTEC and it spreads in childhood settings is because they're less likely to practice good hand hygiene, washing their hands after going to the toilet or washing their hands before eating, right? And so they're much, and they're much more likely to be touching objects and then touching their mouths. And so this is how the fecal-oral spread takes place amongst children. And just so that you know, this channel is sponsored by Nested Knowledge. That's a platform that supports systematic literature review and meta-analysis. They're absolutely amazing. Check out the link in the description below. And with that, on with the lesson. I'm going to talk you through five things that you can do to prevent the spread of VTEC in childcare settings. The first is super duper obvious, but I'm going to say it anyway because it has to be underlined. And that is that educate parents, children, and staff about the importance of hand hygiene, right? Washing your hands with water and with soap after going to the toilet and before handling food or eating food. And the second thing you can do is equally obvious, and that is that you store, prepare, and serve food properly, right? This isn't always done, and so it's worth mentioning. The third thing is regularly clean and sanitize surfaces, right? Because we talked about the fecal oral spread of VTEC and other pathogens, right? So kids put their hands on things, they touch their mouths, keep things clean. That's the way to prevent the spread of disease. And the fourth thing is, all childcare settings have to have explicit policies that get communicated out to parents and staff that address infectious disease spread. And these may include things like if a child is sick, they should be excluded from the creche or from the childcare setting until they are no longer contagious. And the fifth and final thing is this, you have to respond to outbreaks when they occur. Don't just leave them to burn themselves out. It's important that public health authorities intervene, that they take measures to prevent the spread of VTEC in these settings, and they can ensure that anybody that needs it gets the appropriate care and treatment. So if you're working in a childcare setting and there is an outbreak of VTEC, work with your local department of public health. They will give you advice. They will help you prevent the spread of VTEC in that setting. And that's all from me on the VTEC front for today. Please do stay and watch another video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't before. Hit the bell notification if you want notification of future videos like this one. Until next time, take care.